Hello, we are back again. Shiftcalculation.com. Today topic is Borland Pool Analysis Calculation Excel Sheet. You might need to subscribe our YouTube channel Shiftcalculation.com so that you will not miss out any other video relating with the Shift Calculation. If you have any inquiry related with this calculation or any inquiry related to SIP drawing or SIP calculation, you may email us SIPcalculation at gmail.com or you can call WhatsApp plus 62821144834913491. Okay, this is the sketch of the bars and then this one is the tap board. So you might experience on this project in your company this this is just a sample only the bus carrying the cargo one cargo two cargo three cargo four okay well and we need to determine the this bo uh, bollard requirement okay this is the bollard requirement to pull the this uh, bus so that we will determine the tuck boot size that we are going to use for this project okay so the design assumption design design assumption is 5 knots tow speed at maximum transport state criteria with a 39 knots wind okay so this is the uh, the vessel particular the LVP length between part uh, perpendicular so 330 feet or equal with 100 meter and then the vessel beam uh, 100 feet or 30 meter so vessel depth 20 this one vessel tow drop okay so you need to input on this uh, this is I made the red one so it's easy for you uh, which one you need to input the uh, okay so this is your uh, this is the peso particular uh, the bash and also the cargo height okay the cargo height this one is the top model of the cargo deck uh, and to the this and this one is the cargo width okay because this one we need to determine the area the area of the uh, the wind area okay the wind area so you need to determine this one also So based on the this uh, formula, uh, we will uh, uh, get the output is a uh, hull wind area, hull current area, and then cargo wind area, and then also uh, under this trap the water line, you will get the water surface area. Okay, so this one is uh, automatic, uh, and then the frontal area, the total block here is a uh, this one also this uh, automatic uh, formula, so you don't need to change. Okay, so. Uh, after you you input the all these special particulars okay and then the cargo height okay we will get the all the area and then after that you uh, you need to do a uh, tow force to to come water resistant okay uh, so how much the not tow speed so just get in here pipe knots so depends on your vessel and then this one is the residual uh, resistance also so this one is estimate scheme uh, friction so estimate fri fri scheme friction uh, is the uh, pro formula friction resistance so there's a formula here so uh, this one is uh, automatic after you input all this the red one okay uh, the red one and also this one is a knot so after that uh, you will get the residual resistance so from this the skin uh, friction resistant okay uh, and then you will get the residual uh, resistant so this one also uh, you will get how much the residual resistant and after the total skin friction resistant so this total one is comes from the estimate skin friction plus residual uh, resistant okay so this one is the 
uh, automatic uh, formula and then uh, after that you will get the wind resistance also so how much the wind resistance okay uh, we get this around 13 uh, based on this area okay so this is the common formula also and then after that you will get the total come water system is around 26 uh, metric ton so after uh, the wind area being uh, calculated uh, you need to continue with this the tow post due to the wave wave and current load so this the wave is uh, below on this the water line uh, below on the, this water line okay below on the, this water line and then you will get that is a uh, formula so this formula also is a common one uh, you cannot change anything uh, based on the uh, this one uh, at the moment we are using the TMP rules for planning and execution of marine operation 1996 actually there's a new one also okay you you just double check the new one and then the revision part 2 chapter 2 related with the towing so is there any modi uh, is there any modification of the rules we will just take a look at this uh, uh, formula uh, DMV uh, classification eh? okay so this is the system criteria system criteria is uh, based on the location so the wave height how much is uh, 5 meter or 3 meter so it just changes here uh, and after that the wind speed okay this one the wind speed is 13 and right and then current speed how much uh, water density is uh, this one is also is a normal one so you don't need to change uh. this one is a normal one uh, after this the system criteria determine the system criteria and then you can uh, just uh, calculate the current post so the current post how much uh, okay uh, river DMP classification notes 13.5 uh, double 5.5 so you can take a look at this uh, formula from the DMP rules, uh, DMP rules, and then you will get the total current uh, force, okay, uh, around 1.76 metric ton. And after the wave force, also we need to determine based on the area uh, of the uh, uh, underwater here, okay, underwater, okay, based on the underwater, how much the uh, wave force, mm -hmm. and also this one is based on the rules uh, DMP. So you may take a look at the DMP rules. Uh, and then after that total wave and current force. So you need to add the uh, from the current and the wave how much uh, uh, this one is a 1.76 metric ton plus 10.93. So around 12.68 uh, metric ton. Uh, and then there's a bola pool uh, requirement. So the required bola assume uh, total calm water resistance and total wave and current force. So you just you could this one is also the DMP part 2 chapter 2 oh. there's a formula there so around 51.94 metric tons so the required bola for of the top to withstand with trip force current and wind force uh, and toe speed is around 51.94 metric ton so total required for is pro pro the this uh, uh, what they call it the tuck boat is uh, 4156 uh, okay BHP up to 4675 BHP so you need to calculate you need to uh, choose this the tuck boat requirement okay this is the tuck boat requirement requirement mm, after the this calculation okay after the this calculation all this so again uh pull up pull analysis is depends the how big the item that you are going to carry and then you need to calculate the surface this one is the, uh, the surface of the wind uh, the current and then the wave because this one is uh, taking the resistance uh, from pulling uh, this pass uh, okay and using the this the tuck board uh. okay so don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel safecalculation.com or you might visit, visit our website www.safecalculation.com if you have any inquiry related with the SIP drawings or SIP calculation okay feel free to contact us okay, thank
thank you very much for watching and see you again